Cade. Oh. Okay, I think the only thing I saw was maybe the the head. I don't remember seeing any of this uniform. The gun skin is cool too. The uniform I like. I've not seen this animation at all, so let's see it. The only thing I find weird about that is that they kind of made it sound like he shot civilians. He shoots, and then you hear ladies scream, and then it goes back to celebrating. That was the only weird part about it. <laughs> Everything else was good, though. Let's prepare him for a video. This shouldn't be too, too hard, because I normally play Cade a lot. The hard part is going to be... Ooh, it actually looks different. Um, is getting attack first, so I can finish on Cade. <laughs> Little did I know that was not going to be the hardest part. Those motherfuckers, they banned Cade. Like, what's what's the point of changing anything? Bro, why are people banning Cade? That's the second time now. So, we're on coastline again. Why are people banning Cade on coastline? He literally serves no purpose on this map. Now, here's the match where we finally did well enough to consider it a Cade Elite video. I started this recording halfway through a story. Basic summary, I went to buy a new phone, bought it outright, and the person was not happy that I bought it outright. That's basically it. I went on to talk about this for far too long. Maybe he was sad he couldn't get you exactly the phone with the right amount of storage. I mean, I was like, eh, I was like, I probably don't need it, but I really don't care. I was like, I'm going to pay for it with my business. It doesn't matter to me. And then that's when he got upset. I, was like, like, I basically told him budget is not a, an issue, and he got mad. Whatever. Anyways, more Cade elite time. What does outright mean? So instead of buying the phone with a plan, you just pay for the phone. So you have no contract, and you can put whatever SIM card you want in it, and uh, have whatever plan you want on it. I always buy my phone, my phones outright, uh, because getting it with a plan is always just more expensive. And I used to have one of the best plans for any of my friends. I had it was like fifty dollars a month for six gigabytes. That was the best plan that any of us had, because most people had like one or two gigs for like sixty or seventy dollars a month. Um, and then recently, with my business, I was able to get a business plan where I get, for every person we have on the line, we get 30 gigabytes of data and it's shared in a pool. So we have four people on it, so we have 120 gigs and we pay technically $120 for all four people. A really good plan. This shouldn't matter because they all have a Thatcher, but I still want to use that spot anyways. How many hours do I have on Siege? Too many. I have like, probably 5,000 at this point. I think the only other game that can test with how many hours I have on Siege is Binding of Isaac now. 100%ed basically that game, so that was probably like a couple hundred hours I put on. Selling a phone outright doesn't give the rep any commission, it depletes inventory. That's what I'm confused about. It's like, I wasn't going to do it anyways. So like, I can get that you'd be upset that I won't buy a phone on a plan, but like, it's not like he was going to convince me. So he's getting upset over something that doesn't matter. Also, really, and what are the odds that someone's going to walk in and buy that phone I wanted with a plan? Because with a plan, you'd be looking at like a $140 a month phone plan. Ain't no one buying that shit. Okay, well everyone's dying. Time for me to die too. This next chunk before the round started, I had to cut it all out. If you watched my video from Thursday, you'll know why. Be killer. I know uh, some girls in 
different overall communities, but like in Siege as well. I think Geo was the one who's done it most recently. Uh, like she'll go if she gets like really weird comments from guys or like kids. She'll screenshot it and then go find the kid's parents on Facebook, usually their mom, and then DM it to her and be like, Hey, just so you know, your son's saying this to me online to get them in trouble. I don't know why you try to prone peek me there. Dex, bro. I saw the other person too. I was like, if I kill Nomad, this isn't easy. 1v1. At least I'm pretty sure the person was behind them. Oh, never mind. I'm blind. What's her account that exposes people? Uh, she doesn't post about it too, too much. What is her handle? I don't know. I think her handle is Geometrics, but she says that her name is Geo. So I don't know what exactly it is. It, it, I think it's Geometrics. But, uh... I believe she rarely posts about, about that. I mostly see her content pop up on my Twitter from guys liking certain things, which I'll let you discover on your own. Thank you, Ruben, for the four months. The VODs stay on Twitch. Yeah, but as far as I'm aware, you're not actually responsible for that. I think. Last I heard it was like, as long as you aren't promoting it and like making it happen, then you're fine. If someone just randomly says it in a game, they don't expect you to like delete your VODs or anything. So I should be fine. But on YouTube, they take that shit very seriously. Like, a single racist thing or whatever said can get your channel just bopped. Why wouldn't he castle me off? Rip. I assume they know who I am and they're doing that intentionally. What is this count's name? It's what I do whenever I see your face, Ruben. Am I getting sick? I'm getting a bit of a headache. My throat hurts. And, uh... My mouth feels dry, and, like, my sinuses are getting annoying. It shouldn't be COVID. I don't know where I would have picked it up. Um... Like, for example, me and Shane went rock climbing together... Like, a while ago, and he had COVID, and we didn't realize, and I didn't catch it from him then. Went rock climbing again on Monday. Doubt I would have caught it there. I guess I went to the mall yesterday. Maybe. The cost of being a throat goat? True. No. I doubt I would get it from the rock climbing wall. I mean, I guess the time that he went and had COVID, we had masks on. Now we stopped wearing masks at the Rock Climbing Gym because there's only like 10 people there in the morning. Maybe. The best way I can always like explain 
how I feel when I'm about to get sick, is like I can feel my teeth. Not just like, you know, you can just generally feel that they're there, like, it becomes way more prominent that they're there. Should have done smoke first, then. Ying. I thought that he wouldn't be uh, paying attention to me. The sledge does not know where to nade. Extra some decoxies. Is Rock Clang Watch was my main account name? No. It has absolutely no meaning. On Monday, I did. Is that really why, Sam? Is that why, whenever you're sick, it's very common to have dreams about your teeth falling out because you can feel it in your sinuses? Now oh, we'd need a uh, Jeremy for that. So there's no way they let him just set up there and not punish him. Never had a dream of your teeth falling out? Oh, literally whenever I'm sick I always have a dream of my teeth falling out. As far as I'm aware, it's like the most common uh, like dream slash sickness link or whatever. It's like, if you look it up, it's an incredibly common thing that happens to a lot of people. I have no idea what that means, six corners, but I assume it's probably a similar thing. It's for 43 months of Vestos. And that's usually anxiety about losing something. Mm. I don't think so. You are just wrong, Ruben. But let me look it up. Let me look up based off what Sam said. Uh, being sick, teeth falling out, dream. Let's see if it has any links to that. Loss of teeth in your dream may be from a sense of powerlessness. You may be experiencing feelings of inferiority and lack of self-confidence in some situations or relationship in your life. I've never once in my life been unconfident. It's from a dental group. Oh, apparently the literal uh, connection is that your subconscious can often pick up an illness or weakness in the body before you're consciously aware of it. So if you have a dream that your teeth are falling out... It could be based off what Sam said, if it's all linked to your teeth, you could feel it in your teeth before you realize it, and your body is basically just trying to tell you. Beta pitch. So, I assume it's probably because of that. But we'll see. Maybe I'll be perfectly fine tomorrow. in that corner with me what <laughs> what okay remind me after this match we have to go back and see that from thunderbird's perspective there's no way she just let me sit next to her that is the most paid actor i've ever seen i just love dex bro i push into Let's this corner I... 
Okay, even watching this, I can't explain it. <laughs> I guess she thought I was a teammate? That was... So dumb. Thanks for subs to Perth. I guess that's a, a good transition to talk about today's sponsor. R6 Tracker. Let's see. Who was it on the enemy team? Does anyone remember? Because if it was the bronze player, that would make sense. Although somehow they were previously plat 3. Now they're bronze with a 0 0.77 KD. But if it was them, it would make sense. But thanks to R6 Tracker, we can look at the stats live in the match. We can be like, okay, our lobby is low ranks, low levels, which is probably why they were toxic before. Their team is kind of the same thing. You can look at your stats, you can search up anyone you want. You can also click through and be like, hey, what rank was this person before? They took a few seasons off, now they're silver. You can see stats just like this by downloading R6 Tracker using the link down below in the description. Thanks to R6 Tracker for sponsoring this video. I assumed they probably only saw like my ass cheek in their face and they didn't realize that it would have been someone else. They thought it was their teammate, so they just ran past. Being like, oh, I'm gonna get the fuck out of the way. Bro, no way, he's prone in that corner! Of course his name is Rat. This kid is a goblin. Can't use it on Windows 11? I thought you could. I remember seeing it say it worked for Windows 11. I don't have Windows 11 yet, so I can't say for sure. If only had it gone six. Too far. Oh no, I landed right. Why are they low ranks? Because it's unranked. I don't think this guy was toxic. I just muted everyone because I wasn't risking it. I think it was just daily.exe and con hall. That was a grenade. Why am I playing with ranked? Because unranked is fun. Ranked isn't. You know what happens when you play ranked? People get mad at you for not making the right setup on site. People get mad at you for not choosing the right operators. People get mad at you for losing a gunfight. People get mad at you for literally doing anything. And unranked? Barring today and yesterday where we've had some of the most toxic experiences in a while. Uh, you rarely have anyone get mad in unranked everyone's just like yeah no nobody cares like go whatever you want do whatever you want it's unranked is the Cade elite animation good that's all right i'd say it's like it's somewhat subpar on like the audio i mentioned it when we first saw it's like it sounds like he shoots a lady because she screams but obviously he's trying to shoot someone and save the lady or something i don't know They could probably tweak that a little bit. Um, oh, the animation I think is fine. Not people get angry even in casual. And unranked, I rarely deal with any like overly toxic people or overly upset people. In my video for tomorrow, which I'm now gonna have to re-edit now that I have two extra clips to throw in, um, the people that I was like showcasing are getting super upset and unranked for some reason. And it's very rare that I deal with that, which is why I made a whole video on it. Fucking clock out every day unpaid. Josh, we pay you in love though. Is that not enough? No way he gets a kill out there. Oh, it's the guy that I... fucked up. 
the Thunderbird. Go for the MVP. I am not making this uh, a Kate Elite video. I don't care how well I do. I'll use it for clips. It is not becoming a full video. How else do you determine self-accusations for hacker replays? Just saw a new vid. I kind of want to avoid saying it because I'm worried that people will find ways to circumvent it, but then I kind of realize that they can't. A lot of the things that um, I do aren't really avoidable. Uh, so the biggest one is whenever the person who submits the match dies, it'll make a noticeable sound. Like, you know that sound that you hear when you die, or it's like, or whatever? It's the best way I can describe it. That sound is played through match replay. Uh, the second most noticeable thing is that the player who submits the match will always be in the top left or the top right. And a lot of the times when people submit it, they're like, oh, I am this person, and it's someone in the middle or the bottom. So I'm like, okay, I can already tell immediately that you are bullshitting me. And then the backup is I check for the audio. I watch the people in the top left and top right wait for the sound. Usually whoever they accuse of cheating, when I listen for them to die and then they have that sound bit go off, I know that they're just accusing themselves. And you can't, uh, fake it. I actually just got rid of my extra pair of virtuosos because Drew came over and he that his headset wasn't or like the earmuffs were starting to kind of disintegrate on it. So then he needed a new pair. I just gave him my ones that I was currently using and now I have Oh my god. Fuck it, zombie peed me. Um but yeah now I just got the new pair that I got but just uh let me check i can definitely do that the issue is before they would just be like oh where do you want it sent like to you or to someone else i just say oh someone else here's the address now they have it set up in a different way that i might have to get it sent to myself and then ship it to you which would be annoying but still do Hi, Jack. I do need to check how much I actually have. Because I should use the extra credits while I can. I'll get Ruben uh, the Elgato camera for his birthday. It's in tower. I feel like that situation can't be that common, but somehow I relate to it. Actually, I think it happened just the other day. That was the hot tub. I didn't go in today. I should have gone in in the morning, but uh, I think I'll go later today when Annie's back from work. We'll tub together. How is it from South Africa? Is good? I assume that means, like, how's it going? Or, or is that a howitzer? Consider that karma for him being racist. Did I be Elden Ring on stream? I did. When is Elden Ring but no weapon stream? I honestly, I don't understand how people enjoy that. I would never want to do that. Like, I get that it's a challenge and people like challenges, but I don't find that interesting. Like, I already beat the game. For me, I played it for the experience, and then I got the experience, and so now I'm done with it. So I'll never pick it up again. I, I don't understand how people go through, like, new game plus, 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 or whatever. 
how many hours on Elden Ring? I think I had like 70 or 60. I think it wasn't too, too much overall. Okay, let's think about this. I put it here to reach both ends. Technically touches. Bro, is it not possible? Oh, right next to Ella. Oh boy. Thank God he sprinted across. I had one HP. Literally one. Oh, I got the animation. And it was 15 kills. I am not making that a video, though. Right? I don't think I can. Oh, fuck. I'd have to edit out some stuff.